people in the U.S. sadly have no idea, most of them. Nuclear testing finally began on the U.S. mainland. Everybody, all Americans, and really all people around the world. A hundred mushroom clouds pierced the sky. Fallout went completely around the world and came down in rain and, and snow. Severe radioactive contamination followed. The United States government kept the earliest uh, nuclear fallout studies top secret. The American public, whether they want to be or not, will be forever linked to the nuclear tests that occurred in the 1950s. This is because the tests produced clouds. They went everywhere across the United States. And nobody warned us. We never got a warning. Never got any warning. So the bombs that got us were the bombs of our own governments. It was a nuclear war. I used to keep, uh, it was a big pile, it got so big I gave up. <laughs> it was too depressing. Of those men that were at the herd that spring, all eight of them have died with some form of cancer. So, and then I had a couple classmates in grade school that got sick, um, that died. But I will still keep fighting to my last breath until they are acknowledged for what they did and what they were exposed to. I think I have this enormous responsibility to do this work. The hardest part for me is to believe my own government killed my family. It was the women who stood up. People were wondering how much strontium-90 is getting into infants' diets. The only way to stop radioactive contamination was to prove that children were being exposed to radiation. So initially, in 1959, they asked for baby teeth from within a 150-mile radius of the city of St. Louis. I, I just don't think that's a... I was telling friends about it who are 20, 20 years younger than I am, and they were like, really? That happened? I believe it was 1959, and I was seven years old, and went to school, and the teacher said there is this project that's going on, and they're requesting that children that have their baby teeth fall out. I only remember putting, there was like a, a box, like a mailbox on the wall in the classroom. In my mind, the teeth went to the tooth fairy and she did with them whatever she did. My mom would always send them in. And I can remember vividly the card that she filled out. She was concerned about, you know, we kept hearing strontium 90. Well, my parents would have mailed it. Most mothers did. It was almost always the moms. Yeah, it would have been my mom. It's unique and cute. So anytime I open up that cabinet, I see it and it makes me smile. So this is the original card and the original button from the project that I was sent in 1959. She has leukemia, take her home and prepare for her to die. It was baby teeth that proved children's radiation exposure. There had been a 30-fold increase in strontium-90 uptake in children. November 1st, uh, approximately 50,000 American women who described themselves as housewives and mothers went on strike in 60 cities around the country. And that was the article that was sent to President Kennedy's science advisor. And I answered the phone, and there was this pause and said, so, uh, this is John Kennedy, can I talk to your mom? 
President John F. Kennedy declared a halt to atmospheric nuclear tests. However, it came from nuclear testing, but it didn't come primarily from Nevada. So that is a, a misconception. 